here, is it? Shop and Hangers Road, Maidenhead. Shop and Hangers Road, Maidenhead. Okay. So it's not a bad place. So why are we here? Well, because we've been told to get off our land. Where were you? Uh, Five Oaks Farm. Five Oaks Farm in that? Wolf and St Lawrence. Wolf and St Lawrence. And um, at least the neighbours are friendly. Yeah. I mean, as they go past. <laughs> So why have you why have you had to move off your land? Um, well, council said there was a an enforcement in in order, and uh, there was an extra caravan on there, so obviously the caravan had to go. So obviously that's why we're back alongside the road. So you've been but, living uh, over at Waltham St Lawrence since about when? 2009. 2009. Yes. And you lived there. You lived there with your daughter and your son yes. and their children. Yes. And since, yep. since 2009, they've, they've both got two kids each, so uh, obviously on the overcrowding side of it, we, we've got another caravan, so two can stay in, the other one had to go. So unfortunately it was me and my wife. Because so, uh, you didn't want to see the kids by the I, side no, of the road? No, because they've both got babies and I, and I couldn't, and legally they're not, not allowed to tow a caravan. Um, right. Because new, new, new laws are in place, that they're not allowed to tow a caravan until they're a certain age. So what would you like to do? What do you want to do? What, you want to stay here? Well, I'm not allowed to stay here. We've, not allowed we've, to stay we've, here. We've got to move. Well, but they're coming back today. We've been here since Friday. Um, they were more or less here Friday. They come back Saturday, and we've been uh, we've been told to leave or take us to court. So, where are you going to go? You know, any idea? Um, it would just be on another virgin in, in and around the, the area. I mean, I've been here all my life, so. It'd just be on another virgin in or around Maidenhead. Why, why don't you go and live on a council site? Um, are, are there any council sites that... Yes, but that, there's... That's got availability, that's got no, 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 no sites whatsoever. Um, and it doesn't look like there's going to be any in, in, the, in the foreseeable future. Um, so there's... There's no extra sites. There's no places on the existing sites. No. And at the moment, there's no no work underway to provide any. No, money. nothing whatsoever. No, nothing whatsoever. Not in the Royal Borough Windsor and Maidenhead, anyway. Have the have the council done like a needs assessment for the area? Um, yeah, they said in two in 2011 they said there was a, a need for 32 pitches. 32 pitches. That was in 2011. Since 2011, and how many pitches have been made since 2011? None. 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 So it's a bit of a difficult situation, really. Isn't it? it is, yes. Yeah, well, it's a million dollar question, really. Uh, where do we go? What do we do? And so obviously, uh, you can't get planning plan permission on your own land. And uh, to live on there, and, and you can't stop on the side of the road. So, in, in a way of thinking, what, 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 what is the what is the answer to the? Uh so, what would you what would you like to happen now? Um. Well, I think in in 2013, something should be. Um. I've I've been in, in and around Winter and Maiden all my, all my life. So, 1982, my dad asked for better conditions in, for sites. Yeah. In 1982. Yeah. And then uh, you, 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 you find in, in, in a way that uh, many years later we're still in the same position. As a matter of fact, it's worse because then I did have a site when I was at home, <laughs> when I lived with my mum and dad. Now I've got my own children. That was at Bot Bottoms Walton at uh, Burnham. Oh yeah. Okay. So. Uh, but actually, in terms of right now, say tomorrow, if, if the council is going to come down with bailings or whatever to evict you to do a false eviction. Um, if that were to happen, or to avoid that happening, what would you like to be able to do now? What is the practical solution to your problem now, to, to, so you can get off this piece of grass? It's to have someone to put my caravan to live. 
where would you put it if you had a choice? I haven't got a choice. We haven't got a choice. We've got no choice. I'd like, I'd like, I'd like, I'd like to put it. Obviously, we, we, we've got our own home. We'd like to have somewhere to put a caravan to live in, but we haven't got anywhere. So you, so you would like. Does that mean you would like to move back to where you've come? I'd like, to, I'd like to move back to where I come from, where my family are, on, on where my grandchildren are. Yeah. Uh, yes, I would. Yes. On the piece of land that you own that you put in planning permission for? Yes, I would, yes. And, and that at the moment, yes. the whole place is a little bit undecided? Yes. Um, because at the minute now, we're, 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 my, my wife suffers with epilepsy, she's 48 years of age, and I can't, I can't leave her, so really I'm a prisoner in my own home, I'm, I'm not allowed to go, I can't go anywhere, I can't leave her. I can't go to work, I can't, I can't, I can't do anything really. Yeah. And uh, where, where somebody's always home with my wife and I could go to work, um, I can't now. It's made life. So, yeah. And my son is in school in Wolf St. Lawrence. He's been late twice since we've been here, since Friday. So um, it's, it's pretty difficult. He's 10, so it's pretty difficult to... The, si oh, the complete situation is difficult. Um, so the long and short of it is, at the moment, because the council haven't done what they were supposed to do, according to various yeah. government recommendations yeah. and provide extra capacity for gypsies and travellers in this area. Taking that into consideration, you'd like the council to say, OK, go back to where you were living before last week on your own piece of ground while the whole planning... While the planning, yeah, while the planning procedure... Yeah, while the planning procedure is going through, yeah. To, 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 to if we get planning permission or, or we don't, but okay. it, it, it's, it's certainly it's split up a complete family to um, the choice of either all being alongside the road or one of us. So, unfortunately, it was me and my wife. Yeah, pragmatic. Project. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, well, let's see what happens. Okay, thank you very much, Joseph. Thank you.